Привет, комрад, сиет пом, я. I never really got much into my relationship with her, with you guys, and I think now it's time to do that. Um, basically, the unfortunate truth about Skylar is that she is my half-sister by blood, but both of her parents are very, very bad people. Um, they've gotten better, but in the beginning they were alcoholic, drug addict, they were horrible, horrible people. Um, now they are working and they're trying to raise her, so no need for CPS or anything. They're doing very good on their job. But when they started, they were very, very, very bad people. So, from the day Skylar was born, I took her in as my kid. And she grew up calling me mommy, uh, we shared a room together. She was my kid. Um, and so it was very, very hard for me to leave for college because I knew I wouldn't get to see her very much. And she's my little girl, you know? Um, but it's... It was very hard, but I did it, and we all worked out fine. But why I mentioned that it's a bad day tomorrow is because it's memory of the day I basically lost my childhood in the easiest way to say it. Because if you think about it, that's that's what happened. What the heck? There's a lot of flashing lights. Okay, um but yeah that that is what happened. I lost my childhood. I was only eleven and I became a mother. And since that day, I've had to be responsible for myself and for another being. Uh, she has been everything to me. I've had a very, very tough time raising her. And I stole a lot to be able to feed her. I did some stuff I'm not ashamed of. Um, I slept around with people for money, in exchange for money and food and things like that, and normally I would have been exchanged. Growing up I was pretty ashamed of that, so I never really told anyone, but now I'm kind of proud of it because if I didn't do it, both me and Skylar would probably not be alive right now, because as I mentioned her parents were, at least one of them was also my parent, and so I got zero help anything, I didn't get food for myself or anything, so if I didn't sell myself in the nicest way of putting it, I would not have gotten to eat, and neither would have Skylar. So I'm not ashamed of it, as much as I used to be, I'm willing to come out and say it now, and I did this until college, um, because in high school, when I was finally old enough to actually get a job, I didn't have a car. Uh, I wasn't allowed a car. So, there was no way for me to get to a job. I know one would hire you unless you have experience, and it was a huge mess. I was trying for years to get a job, but in the meantime, I had to steal and be a prostitute. And the nice way of putting it. Um, I, it was a bad time for me, but I made it. And that's the reason why this birthday is actually going to be a lot harder on me than usual. Because Skylar is turning 11, and when I was her age, I had a kid, and it's just so weird to think about that, because I don't think of her as an adult at all, and I know she's insanely mature and everything, because she's had to be, but at the same time, I, I guess when I was 11, I didn't look at it as too bad that I had to raise a kid, because it's just what you do. 
but I, I guess I didn't realize how bad I had it until I'm looking at if she had to raise a kid. Because I know she couldn't. I mean, she would, she would find a way, but it would not be a good situation for her. And then it makes me realize just how bad of a situation it was for me. I guess I kind of repressed it a lot because, I mean, who willingly remembers that stuff, it just traumatizes you. And, I mean, I think, I'm trying to get the point across that it didn't seem like a big deal to me. I mean, it sucked. And I hated it, and it, I still get nightmares from it, but I did it, and I don't know, it just makes me realize how young I was, because, you know, I think of it as I've done it for so many years, and I realize I started when I was Skylar's age now, and that's just, I don't know, it is crazy to think now that... I mean, I'm kind of proud in a way. I've kept this kid alive for 11 years, <laughs> which is pretty good. Um, I do have to say the last three years or so have not been entirely my own because I've been in college. And that was very, very hard for me, as I said. I put a lot of faith in my little brother that he would take care of my sister, our sister. I put a lot of faith in him, and they had times where they would fight, and they would scream, and it was bad, but I knew it would be a better situation than leaving her alone with my mother. And I, I am saying, they are a lot better now, I want to remind you guys that. They both have jobs now. Um, they now only drink once a week, and they do not drive drunk. Uh, I think he is completely sober. They only do weed now, which is still illegal, but it's better than heroin. And they're just doing a lot better. So I want to say that even if it did ever go to CPS, they would have custody now because they are good people now. So I didn't want anyone calling anything. Okay. I just want to let you guys know that because I'm not trying to get anyone in trouble here or anything else. And they always assume that I am. Anytime, anytime I talk about my relationship with Skylar, they're like, you're trying to get me CPS called, you're trying to get this, you're trying to get this. And I'm not trying to start problems. I just want to bring attention to the issue that is not very talked about with people. And there's a lot of issues here. You don't realize how much older siblings raise little siblings. And in situations where it does turn to CPS, people split them up a lot. And that is their kid. Splitting them up ruins their life. I can only imagine if I was separated from Skylar. We had a lot of close calls of police barging down our door and looking for her. Because her dad was, again, not a good person and he would bribe the cops. Her dad was not allowed any visitation whatsoever. And he would bribe the cops to basically kidnap her so that he could see her. It was extremely legal and very, very terrifying and traumatizing. I still cannot look at a cop without almost pissing myself. I cannot deal with anyone in uniform without almost pissing myself. And I am permanently scarred because of what he did. But that can go into that at another time. There's a big story of all these horrible, horrible things that these cops did to me. But again, that's for another time. For now, I just want to get to the point that how important sibling relationships are. I even take it for granted, like, you know, most people don't like their siblings, so they fight a lot or whatever, and you don't realize how much you really need them, and how much they really need you. And 
another issue here is child prostitution. A lot of people assume it's of a bad guy who is forcing this child to do these horrible things. And I want to bring light that that's not usually the case. Um, usually it is a child doing it themselves of their own free will because they have to. Because if they don't, they don't get to eat tonight. And it is one of the biggest signs of an abusive relationship, of abused children, is that the child it sells themselves. And I don't know how to put that in a positive light, but child prostitution is a real issue. And I hope that one day we can end that issue. Um, if I ever get rich, that's, I guess, where my money's going to go. Child prostitution and then LGBT homelessness and everything else, you know? All these really important issues. So, <laughs> as the light get dims, I just want to let you guys know what's going on. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to be very vacant. It's going to be a very confusing time for me mentally. I won't know whether to cry or be happy or anything. That's why I'm really glad Skylar's birthday party is not on her birthday. It'd still be hard for me. But I think I'll have a little bit of time to adjust, perhaps. And just wanted to, you know, keep you guys updated about what's going on with me right now. I know I don't make a lot of videos very often. And I am sorry for that. I literally run from work to school to everything else. And I know there's no excuse. And I'm going to try to do better. But I'm not mentally in a good place right now. And I want to fix that before I drag you guys into it. So, happy birthday, Skylar. TF Calm, signing off.